Hey YouTube, NWA Prepper here. And uh, this afternoon I wanted to come and talk to you guys a little bit more on first aid stuff. That's, I'm pretty passionate about that. In the past we've talked about, well we've went over my blowout kit a couple times. And I've talked about the importance of lots of first aid kits around. So those are the ones that I've talked about before. Today I wanted to talk about my more than just me pack. I mean, my blowout kit is for me. I mean, it's 100% everything in here is for use on me. Then I have the small first aid kits, and I've got five or ten different kinds of these. I always talked about them, but that I have that I can use on other people that I carry around. Well, then, then I have this. This is my trauma kit and that's mostly what this is is for trauma and it's a paratrooper bag it's great it's got the drop down straps and all the cool things you need to leave an aircraft but it doesn't matter what kind of bag it is it doesn't matter if it's a duffel bag from Walmart or you know any, any kind of bag for that matter a plastic sack but I did kind of want to go through some of the things that I think are important to be in your pack and in addition to the importance of being in your pack, it's important that you know how to use them. So I have some things in, in here, and this normally fits right there, but I've, I've taken it off. Just I needed it the other day. Some things that you need to learn how to use. And in this particular pouch, pretty easy. This is where I keep a stethoscope, and I got uh, the best stethoscope I could afford. I've used this one in the field for a long time and a blood pressure cuff. Normally there's a pen light in here and a couple other things, but they're in other parts of the bag right now. That's all that's in this, and I want to be able to get to these pretty quick because for my current world, those are the two most used tools that I have. And so they attach Molly on the back of this pack. Uh, they also go on my everyday carry backpack. I can just put that underneath. It. Blood pressure cuff and a stethoscope. Some of the other things, and I, I've got some organization to it, you know, everyone has their own method for their madness. In this top pouch is my massive blood bleeding. I've got Curlex, I've got an Israeli bandage, we've talked about Israeli bandages before, and I've got several Curlex, or just conforming bandage or gauze rolls, and they're all right here. And the way that works for me is I'm going to open one of these and I'm going to set it right on the wound and then and secure it in place with the other things. And then up here in the top, I've got some H&H &H gauze or some compress for open wounds. I've got just some regular band-aids or bandages, just little adhesive bandages. More H&H. &H. And then I have a big Israeli bandage right here. Uh, abdomen size you know and then I've got gloves in each container I've got the makings for a tourniquet right here even though I don't have a cat tourniquet in here I've got everything I need for it I also keep a skin marker and a tape measure so I can I can convey messages on a radio or to everyone around me well and I can ride on their forehead for a tourniquet and things like that. Remember, most of this is trauma. Down here, I have two of the large abdomen Israeli bandages from North American Rescue. And then in the zipper part up here, I've got other kinds of large trauma dressings. In addition to, this is the compartment that I keep uh, some different infection control things. There are gloves in every compartment. Uh, nitrile, black, I like black. But these are my N95 masks. I've got a set of eye shields in there in the event that my glasses are broken or that I need them. And those are the things that are right up on the front, right on the top, easy for me to get to. Some other things that I have is a whole pouch full of gloves, a multi-tool, a flashlight, um, and another multi-tool over here. This one has scissors, this one has pliers, you know, just for some variety. 
I keep all my zip zippers in the middle. And then some of the things that I have in here right away are I have a bag valve mask. Again, know how to use it. And then the mask is right here. I have one of those every prepper has this. A surgical kit. The difference is, is I don't intend to do surgery with this. I have other uses for it. Uh, you know, removing ticks, splinters, things like that that I can do. I keep two more combat dressings in here. Uh, this one is military issue. This is North American Rescue. Uh, I guess I keep three. And these are just in the, just sitting in here. They're in the top pouch. They're real loose. They're easy for me to get to and toss out. The next thing I have in here is a medical roll. And what this does is you just unvelcro it and it rolls out and I've got all kinds of littler things. I've got some airways, I've got some iodine tablets, triangle bandages, eye patches, Coban, uh, some Benadryl, uh, wire splint, tongue depressors, tape, just kind of the odds and ends. So this is like my junk drawer of my bag. Then in back of that large compartment, I keep some heaters, um, just the pocket heaters. I buy them on sale, out of season. And then here in this main compartment, I picked up this really cool Blackhawk pouch one time, and it's made for you to cut the foam in it and put medicines, glass vials, and, and drugs like that. Things that I don't keep. But what I do keep is I have an adult and a child epinephrine or an EpiPen, keep some nitroglycerin tablets because recently I've had cardiac history. I keep some glucose, I have glucose tablets and I have glucose liquid like those five hour energy drinks that I kind of, I kind of like to have those for diabetic emergencies. I have an albuterol inhaler because of some, some family history and my family around me. And then in here is just a little kit with all my ooey gooey creams and my burn gel. Uh, I've got some Silvadine, triple antibiotic ointment, creams and goos. And of course, there's a ton of other medicines that I can carry. And I do in other, you know, like my blowout bag, I have aspirin and ibuprofen and all that kind of stuff. But this is not what this, that bag's for. Then in here, that's on top of the inside, is where I keep the other part to my bag valve mask, nice and easy. I have a CPR pocket mask, I have a complete set of nasal airways, a complete set of oral airways, the lubricating jelly for the oral airways. Uh, you know, I mean, they're all just stuffed in there. I've got some Asherm and chest seals, and I have two, one for the front, one for the back just in case I need them. I really like those. But these are the things that I keep in a trauma bag. A lot of people oh my God, a lot of people do different things. They like different styles of bags or configurations. And this is this is the style that I like. It's a backpack. It lets me bulk up. It is kind of heavy. Um, that's why I don't carry it. I carry other other smaller kits when it's time to just pick or choose. I, I don't know what you guys are carrying for your first aid stuff, for your individual, for your family, or for more significant things. There's a thousand different combinations that you can do of each. I encourage you to get out, look at your first aid stuff, and uh, do an assessment. See what you need and what you don't. So the NWA prepper saying, let's be ready.